magnetic dream effects. Same thing, just look right at me. This is classic chrome. So today we are heading on a road trip to Las Vegas where we are going to be testing out the new Fujifilm GFX 100S2 as well as a variety of our new magnet magnetic ND filters and magnetic DreamFX filters. So it's going to be a fun trip, testing out a new camera, some new filters, excited for you guys to come along for the ride, so let's go. Might even hide a little Prism Lens Effects treasure somewhere in Vegas. So that's why you gotta follow us on Instagram, because things like this. Someone's gonna win something. Alright, so we gotta go pick up Marshall, who is actually the head of our affiliate program and like uh, customer, I guess relations, if you will. He runs the affiliate program and he just helps us with a lot of day-to-day -day tasks and different things within Prism and the business. And today he's gonna help us on the road trip by being stand in talent for when we need a subject. We brought an extra camera so he can kind of act as a photographer. Uh, so yeah, on the way to pick up him. Dude, I feel like I have like a documentary crew following me around now with you, you with that big old rig and the headphones and everything. That's what's so cool. It's like with us owning and operating our own business like this is like being able to have like creative freedom and control to do whatever we want. And like we are the clients. And so we just thought it would be fun to like take a road trip to Vegas, test out these filters document it, document it, put together a YouTube video of which we'll be able to extrapolate a bunch of like short form content and stuff for the website and landing pages. And it's like, we just get to do whatever we want. And it's not like, oh, like, is this what the client wants and needs? Like, are they gonna be happy? It's just like, we just get to go out and create and do it. And so that's what's really cool about owning your own business um, is being able to just have complete freedom creatively. So I'm gonna throw away this trash real quick. attach our mag mount ND filter this is an ND21 and so how the system works is there's the magnetic filter and then there's the magnetic receiving end so you would just thread this onto your lens uh, it could, any lens lots of different sizes but once you've threaded on that magnetic ring it's as simple as taking any of our magnet mount filters and boom done and I can infinitely stack, I can stack NDs. I could also add, for example, the dream effects. But pretty easy, very painless. I could stack dream and I could stack an ND and go both ways. So yeah, very, very painless, easy to use system. So we're driving, we just saw this really cool sign. Figured why not just pull over and try and get a quick 
photo, maybe a video shot of like traffic driving by, like a video postcard. So we'll see what we can get. And you took me at a glance I'd seen you around So I thought I'd take a chance I tried love before But it always left me blue And though my heart was sore there was nothing I could do Those angelic eyes Bluer than summer skies Such a beautiful guy You would What's your least favorite thing about this camera so far? I'm trying to figure out the menu and like switch between certain settings. Like I'm trying to figure out how to shorten the time on how to change my Kelvin or the K temp or like, I just haven't figured out. I don't know if it's just, it's a confusing menu system and kind of hard to navigate function, button functionality or if I'm just so new to the Fuji ecosystem that it's like, it's just me and I just need more time with it, so. This is a Leica M mount that I got an adapter to use on a GFX body. There we go. Right there. And then obviously the thread on this lens is 49 mil. Uh, so in this case, in this instance today, I'm gonna use a 49 mil to 82 adapter. So now, with that adapter on that lens, I'm going to use the magnetic ND to again, keep a shallow depth of field, whether it's photo or video. So I'm gonna attach the magnetic end. Now that the magnetic receiving end is attached, the ND should just clip right on. Boom, oh, that's cute. One thing I really like about this lens too is listen to this. That mechanical aperture is, oh, it feels so good in the hands and it's just fun to hear that sound. You don't get that too much anymore. And again, I think this lens, just being so tactile in nature, being a manual focused lens, having that mechanical aperture just feeds into that tactile nature of a camera that emulates film is a medium format digital sensor so um, yeah I think it just makes it kind of like a fun toy almost like you're shooting film like I said it just makes things feel more fun and intentional and like rather than just like oh yeah photo photo kind of like sit there and line up shots what's your settings right now so right now with the ND on, ND21, I'm at a 1.4, uh, shutter speed 48, ISO 400. Shooting video? Wide open video. I'll grab a couple photos in a second, but I'm just trying to get a good example of like, okay, with this ND on, which it allows me to be at a 1.4 all the way open to see the extreme depth of field of this lens with this camera. And then I'm gonna take the ND off and stop down all the way to like f16 which hopefully you would never do to show like why it's important to use nds to maintain the shallow depth of field so it's kind of what i'm doing right now
on the next episode of Road Trip. We travel up to Las Vegas to photograph some of the city's most iconic neon signs. In this episode, we battle test our new Dream Effects filters, our magnet mount filter system, and even experiment with an easy DIY shutter drag technique. Thanks for joining us on this road trip, and we'll see you on the next episode.